Athena and Arachne. Characters Narrator Arachne A Rack Knee A Weaver Diana Arachne's friend Athena a Greek goddess Messenger Scene one Athens Greece a long time ago Arachne's home Narrator Long ago Arachne and her friend Diana sat weaving Diana Oh Arachne that cloth is so beautiful Arachne admires her cloth Arachne I know Many people want to possess my cloth, but few can afford it. Only those with great wealth can buy it. Diana, yes, it's true that people value your cloth. It is one of their most valued possessions. Your weavings are a real treasure. Some say that you learned your weaving skill or talent from the goddess Athena. Arachne, it was not necessary for me to learn from a goddess. I was born with my talent. I am a much better weaver than Athena, and I'm sure I could beat her in a weaving competition. Diana is worried, stops weaving, and looks at Arachne. Diana, shh, I hope Athena isn't listening, or you're in big trouble. Arachne, nonsense. There's no reason to be alarmed or worried. Athena is much too busy to come down from Mount Olympus to compete with me. Scene 2. Mount Olympus, home of Athena. A messenger arrives. Messenger. Goddess Athena, I have news from Athens. The weaver Arachne says she can beat you in a weaving competition. She's obsessed with her skill and thinks she is the best weaver in Greece. Athena. I'll show her who weaves the finest cloth. Her obsession with weaving must end. Please get me my cloak. Messenger hands Athena her cloak. Athena, Arachne cannot talk about me that way. If she refuses to apologize, I will make her pay for her boastful words. Her anguish will be great. Scene 3. Arachne's home. There is a knock at the door. Arachne, who's there? Athena, just an old woman with a question. Athena is hiding under her cloak. She enters the room. Athena, is it true that you challenged the goddess Athena to a weaving competition? Arachne, yes, that's right. Athena drops her cloak. Athena, well, I am Athena, and I am here to compete with you. Diana, Arachne, please don't. It is unwise to compete with a goddess. Arachne and Athena sit down at the empty looms and begin to weave furiously. Arachne, I am ready to win and get my reward. Athena, there's no prize if you lose. Narrator, Arachne and Athena both wove beautiful cloths. However, Arachne's cloth was filled with pictures of the gods being unkind. Athena, Arachne, your weaving is beautiful, but I am insulted and upset by the pictures you chose to weave. You are boastful, and your cloth is mean and unkind. For that, I will punish you. Athena points dramatically at Arachne. Arachne falls behind her loom and crawls out as a spider. Athena, Arachne, you will spend the rest of your life weaving and living in your own web. Narrator, Arachne was mean and boastful, so Athena turned her into a spider. That's why spiders are now called arachnids. Arachne learned that bragging and too much pride can lead to trouble. The End